Today we're talking with Pat High, edit for Florence City Council District 2. She is currently serving on the Florence School District 1 board. How long have you been serving on that board? I'm into my second term. What made you decide to run for Florence District 2? Because it seems as though it's there's a stagnant on City Council. And the stagnant is because there's just too much bickering. There's not that spirit of cooperation. And we need to be able to work together, not always looking for what for everything we want, because you're never going to get everything you want. But you should be able to cooperate and compromise and get some of the things done that's good for not just District 2, but the City of Florence. So as a school board member, you were not perceived as a person who was always as outspoken. How will that change on city council? Or will that change? Well, I'm not spoken when I need to be. There's times when you need to be quiet and listen, and there's times when you need to talk. When I need to talk, I do. There were some areas, especially in the East Front and the North Front area, that were really crime ridden. And I'm not saying the crime is gone, but you can almost ask anybody on certain blocks. Ballard Street, down Name Street, Ballard Street in East Florence, um, Charlotte Street, Pine Street. Have they seen any changes over the past few months? That cat team was doing terrific. What would be your plan to improve housing in, in, in what is supposed to be a residential district or district two? First of all, we have to get rid of some of that dilapidated abandoned housing. Um, it started, they're starting to go down now. That's being, you know, I spent most of my life in New York, and mm -hmm. we were in large apartment buildings, tenements, but in Florence, communities were actually neighborhoods when they were single-family homes, because homeowners are, more, are proud of their property, and they try and maintain it if they're living there, if they're living in that home. Um, Multi-family homes, the owners is interested in just renting those apartments. Mm -hmm. And often they don't care who they rent them to. I rent it to. I've had a couple landlords tell me that I complained about um, some places on South Oregon Street once, and he told me, "Oh, I don't care. I just want it rented." But right now it's it's boarded up, it's closed down because his not caring got it to the tenants tore it up. Mm -hmm. So we need the single family dwellings in these communities. We need to bring them back to neighborhoods where where I know that John lives next to me on this side and Mary lives next to me on that side and we're going to look out for each other. Not just have a lot of tramps here going in and out of these apartments. And I know everybody needs, needs a place to live, but some communities are actually neighborhoods. And I think people want, most people do have pride in their neighborhood if they own the, prop, the house they live in. Mm -hmm. They want to see it kept up and they want their neighborhoods to be maintained. But somehow, and I, I don't, there, people have to live somewhere though. But I do want to see more single family dwellings. I don't want to see all these, I call them, the multi-family dwellings is going up now. I don't really call them apartment buildings. I call them, because they all basically look the same. I call them a good, what projects used to be a long time ago. And I'm not saying that anything that's housing authority, I was on the housing authority for like seven years on as a commissioner, but housing authority tries to take care of their buildings, their residences. But I mean these things that they're just throwing up now, they're usually blue or white with, <laughs> with the little wooden awnings around the por porches mm -hmm. and people are just moving in and out and sometimes they say they do screen. Yeah, they may screen the female and then she they, they move in the boyfriend and the boyfriend's a drug dealer and before you know it the whole block is just shot. So I'm kind of opposed to it. What role do you think better lighting would play in, in, in these residential communities? This is street lights and things like that. It would better lighting would have less hiding space. I, and I know because often I've seen lights shot out. 
and they shut out because they want to stay in the dark. They don't want to be seen. The mm-hmm. criminals that's doing their illegal activity don't want to be seen in the light. So better lighting will promote safer, safer neighborhoods. Okay, so you would you would advocate lighting up these communities more? I like to definitely light up the communities more. I think people would feel a lot safer with more lighting because they can see better. They can see their surroundings better. Going down a dark street for me is not a lot of fun because I, for one, at night I don't see as well and I can't see what's coming out of those shadows. <laughs> so I, I, I like lighting. You and the current district representative have had a strong community relationship for a number of years. I think you've been business partners on some issues and, 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 and always advocates and, and activists right. in the community for, for, for as long as anybody can remember, as long as you've been back from New York. Uh, what has changed? Why, why, why now? Why, 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 why? What has changed is, um, I'm not going to say I don't still like him, I do as a person. Okay. Um, I think he's a great person, but what has changed is over the years, I've seen us growing apart on some of the way we do things. I think before there was a time when I would just jump out at an issue without looking on both sides. But over the years I've learned that I need to look at part one and part two before I make a decision and before I make a statement. Rash being rash Making rash judgments has hurt. It hurts more than it helps. And especially when you realize later on that you're wrong. Has that ever happened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah has he ever, ever realized that he was wrong? <laughs> me or him? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. About him. Oh, talking good. about me. Oh, okay. Um, I can only speak for me. Yeah, there were times when I realized that I was wrong for making rash decisions or rash judgment that I needed to research more and look at both sides before I come out with a statement. And I've learned over the years to control what I say, um, to have better communication because it's more effective than just running out at large. This is more effective to have better communication, to try and talk to somebody first, to look at both sides. Because there's always two sides. I've, I've learned that that was a real hard lesson to learn some, at some point. But I've learned it. I'm proud of learning it, that, that there's always two sides. And I consider myself a person that's good at looking at both sides because I find myself doing that a lot telling one of my friends might say but this and that this and that and I was like but you have to realize that maybe because of this that action happened and I think I'm proud of doing that and I think that's some of the reason that started being distant mm-hmm. because I just want to be a better promoter of reason. What what do you say to the people in the community who says that he speaks for the voiceless, that Ed Robinson speaks for the voiceless people, not just in Florence District 2, but in Florence as a whole? Well, I say that I speak for the voice also, I just do it in a different manner, and I get the same things accomplished. Well, it's been interesting talking with you. I think we've learned a lot. Uh, we've learned a lot about who you are. Uh, we always knew that you had a very, very strong community activist background, uh, but we've learned that you do have a plan that, like most of us, as we get older, we mellow out and we learn how to do things without the emotion involved. You seem to be talking from that particular standpoint. Good luck in your campaign. Thank, Thank you. you. There's a lot of emotion now, but it's just that we're going to control it more. Oh.